Okay guys, so what am I going to be having a go on in this video? I'm going to be having a go on this. Look at this. Dairy free, pure plant based, eight slices, creamy and versatile. No mention of the word cheese. This is sort of supposed to be vegan cheese. Now, I was meant to, or I was supposed to be reviewing this a couple of three weeks ago. I bought it during Hellfast. And it weren't until I got it home that I realised I couldn't review it because the carbs were just way too high. 100 grams of carb, uh, 100 grams of these slices contains 23 grams of carbs. And I was only allowed 20 grams of carbs per day, so there's no way I could review it. So I thought, right, well, I'll hang on. I'll... Bobos, come on, my man, I'll hang on to it. And I'll actually be able to do a better review because I'm going to have it on cheese on toast. And I'm going to have it side by side, some mature cheddar cheese on toast. So there we are. So it looks like the company name is Pure, I would have thought. So it's dairy free, gluten free, lactose free, vegan, always free. Free from artificial colours and flavours, source of calcium, iron and vitamin D, no soy, no palm, no nuts. Great for burgers and sandwiches. Um, calories, there is 321 per 100 grams, which is what I looked at in the shop. I don't know why I didn't look at the carbs. The ingredients, coconut oil based Vegan alternative to cheese, water, coconut oil, modified potato starch. Yeah, I'll show you. So, there's the nutritionals. There's the ingredients. Right, okay. So, what did I pay? I'm pretty sure I paid what I looked online today. I think it's 199 for 160 grams. It's just quite expensive. But again, it's that vegan thing. They just got them by the old, ain't they? What else can they have? I have to say, I'm not looking forward to this. I've, the only times I've had vegan cheese, I've had it once like for itself, like, I had a, my, my ex-girlfriend had a block of vegan cheese, this has gone back quite a few years, and I tried a bit, and it was just like eating rubber. No taste, texture was horrendous, awful stuff. And the only time I've had it since was on a pizza, which was really good, so it tasted okay on the pizza, and I've had it on something else, which was okay. You know, it, it, to, be, to be fair, both times I could have got away. Someone had have told me it was real cheese. I probably would have believed them. But obviously it's not the dominant flavour and texture on those two items. But this, I will be, like I say, doing some on cheese on toast. And I will obviously try it on its by itself as well which I'll do at the same time so I think it's time to fire up the old grill and get some cheese on some toast where's Boo Boo come on Boo Boo okay guys here it is here it is we've got one real cheese one vegan cheese now I have to say when I got it out of the pack it did smell a bit cheesy Let's get one out. They're only little old slices. They're only like half slices. It has got a bit of a cheesy smell to it. And to be fair, it looks not too bad. Let's give it a try. It's better than I thought it'd be. It's a bit like 
like beet burger cheese, which I don't particularly like. I, I just don't, I don't understand why people use that stuff. When you've got cheddar sitting in your fridge, just slice a bit off and put some real cheese with some flavour on your burger. I just don't get it. It's a little bit like, it's a bit stiffer than that. A little bit harder. It's probably got more flavour than that, to be fair. It's not great, though. Right. Just try a bit of real cheese. Now, this is nothing special. This is just Safeway Savers Mature Cheddar. Loads of flavour. Mm. Right. So as you can see, it's got a bit of a weird... When you heat it up, it's sort of got this skin on it. It's gone a bit like custard. When you custard, get a skin on it. But when it was under the grill, it was bubbling away like cheese. Mmm. Wow. Look at that. It's like liquidy underneath the skin. It's like, it's really liquidy. Like melted cheese. Wow. See if we can get a bit of a... Look. It is. It's like liquid. Wow, that surprised me. That is way better eating that like that with it melted. Than it is, than it is, um, cold. That's, that's really weird. That is nothing like eating cheese on toast. That is like proper liquidy. Let's have a go on a normal bit. Mm. Well, I have to say though, there's loads of flavour in that when you heat it up. It like really magnifies the flavour. It's it's sort of got a bit of a cheesy flavour to it, a lot of processed cheesy flavour. What you would expect to get like in a cheese spread or something like that. Um, of course, this has got to be hard to score because it is better and a lot better than I thought it would be. But I'm going to have to score it from a non-vegan's point of view because I am non-vegan. So, there's no way I'd buy it again. So I've got to score it below an 8. But I'm going to try and do it in a way to not take too much away from it. Because if I was a vegan, I would buy it again. If there weren't nothing better out there, which I haven't tried yet. So, I would have to say, if I was vegan, I would buy that again. But not very often, because that is quite a lot of money. Um, £2 for eight slices so it would be a treat now and again when I fancy cheese because I love cheese and if I went vegan god that would be the biggest thing I'd miss is the cheese so I would buy it now and again if there weren't nothing better out there um, but as a 
has a non-vegan score in it. Bit pricey. I'd, I'll score it a six and a half, I think. If they, if it was like half the price, I think it would get a, it'd be in the sevens. Because it's this surprised me, and I, although it's very different to cheese, that like real soft, liquidy, it is almost like a really like warm cheese spread underneath that skin. It's very different to like what you'd normally have cheese on toast, just like that. So although it's different, it's quite nice, and it. I mean, it's sticking all around my mouth. Blimey. It is a totally different experience. It's got loads of flavour in it, eating it like that. So yeah, I think if it was a little bit, a little bit less money, and I was a vegan, well, even if I weren't a vegan, which I'm not, I'd still score it in the sevens. If I was a vegan, right now, I would score it in the eights. Um, low eights, I think. Because cheese is cheese. If you love cheese, God, you got to have it in your life, haven't you? So there we are. I, won't, uh, I ain't got a scoreboard for cheese, but what I might do, I might start trying some different cheese, like proper cheeses. Um... And just might start a scoreboard up when I get round to doing some cheeses. Because I love cheese. So yeah. So there we are guys. Nice simple review today. Get that one out of the way. Because it's in my fridge. Although it had got a long date on it. Um, I just wanted to get it out of the way. So there we are guys. There we go. That is another fast broken by some vegan cheese. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me and old Boo Boo the Custard Kid over there again soon on another video. Take care guys. Right Boo Boo, where are you my man? Here we are, oh no. Oh, oh no, there's no Scoobies in here for Bob. I'll have to get one in a minute. God blimey.